Hey, what's up, YouTube? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for hitting play today. Today, we're checking out Randy Van Warmer, okay, with a song called Just When I Needed You Most. Once again, as we do sometimes, we're pulling up songs straight from the algorithm on my YouTube channel. They see that I'm listening to a lot of this older music and they start suggesting things. And usually, uh, if it looks like it's had a traction before, I know that it's probably a good song that I can go ahead and dive into then and I just add it to the playlist. Today we're checking it out. So sometimes it's an artist I haven't ever heard even be suggested on the channel and a song I haven't been suggested. Uh, but sometimes it turns out great. We get a lot of people showing up, say, hey, I remember this song. I haven't heard it in so long. And sometimes uh seems like it falls on, uh, you know, not a lot of ears, let's say that. But either way, I'm going to dive into it because I don't know what it is. So if it's good for the channel, it's good for the channel. If not, hey, well, at least we heard it today. So let's spin some v Randy Van Warmer just when I needed you most and see what we're getting, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the description, man. Amazing way to help me. All right. Thank you guys so much. Here we go. something to say You left in the rain without closing the door I didn't stand in your way Now I miss you more than I missed you before and now where I'll find comfort God knows Cause you left me just when I Interesting sounding instrument here. Yeah, that one uh 
it's a good song. If I think this probably falls under like the soft rock genre, but I could see this translating really well into like a country song as well. Like it could have been done in a country tone or even covered in a country uh theme and it would sound really good as well so just when i needed you most i think when most of us hear the song and hear the lyrics it probably initially pushes you to just thinking about being in an emotional state purely of like you left me i needed you but man i it took my mind to some other situations and stories i've heard about with like let's say a partner gets cancer diagnosed and at that moment you know or shortly after the partner divorces them or leaves them or you lose a parent uh, a family member and then right afterwards you know they leave you um it's it's these really you know terrible moments in our lives that uh inevitably you know most of us will experience at some point um and then on top of that you get hit with some heartache with you know your partner leaving you or something that is even crazier than just a natural breakup it's when they time it and they pair it with something terrible in your life and that's where this took me i don't know why immediately i thought about those stories i've heard uh, that do happen you know that do happen and and the realities for some people out there and maybe even some some members of the channel have uh been through that so that'd be terrible but that's um you know i don't know I almost feel like, obviously, there is no written obligation to have to do anything. You, you know, everyone can make their own choices. But I just think if you're going to leave a partner or you've been feeling like leaving them, you know, I don't think that's the right time to do it. But uh, I guess that something, there's been something festering for a while to think to do that, I think, in a person. And at that point, you're like, oh, oh well, now I really can't support you because I don't feel in love with you anymore. So I'm just going to head out at this point i'm sorry you know i don't know something wild i know i'm gonna get a little off beat with that one but that's where it took me just when i needed you most i mean that's really how much more can you need somebody than a time like that truthfully um when you're feeling very vulnerable and and weak so crazy right here mr randy van warmer don't know anything about him but we're gonna go ahead and dive in and see what information we can pull up from the song and the artist okay all right, so we have Just When I Needed You Most right here by Mr. Randy Van Warmer off of the album Warmer, okay? So this is considered soft rock, and he, uh, the songwriter on it is Mr. Randy himself. It says he was inspired to write this by two events. His old car that he loved and used for years broke down on his way to work in Denver, Colorado, and he experienced a devastating breakup with a girlfriend. He wrote the song six months after that breakup, two years before it became a hit. After recording Just When I Needed You Most, Van Warmer then flew to the U.S. to pressure Bearsville head office, his album, I guess, uh, label, yeah, to push this song. As a lead single, Van Warmer would recall that Bearsville evinced little enthusiasm for the track. Nobody thought my version was an especially good version of the song, which a few other people were thinking of cutting. Everybody just assumed mine was a demo for people to listen to who then cut the definitive version. It has also been asserted that Your Light, The Flip, was the original intended A-side of Van Warmer's single. So I guess this song did chart well. It reached number four on the Billboard Hot 100 track. Uh, and Mr. Van Warmer said that um, I, I guess the empathy for the heartbreak scenario is why it had success. It happens to everybody. That emotion is universal. I always uh, hoped the record wasn't wallowing in self-pity and it had some redeeming value. And I guess it does. Van Warmer also attributed his single success to the auto harp instrumental break between. So that's an auto harp. Yeah, it sounded. I mean, those strings sharp, right? very harp feeling i guess but i wasn't sure you know uh, but i guess it's a different type like an electric type of harp it looks like maybe a little smaller than traditional so let's check out randy right here you got randy he was born in 1955 he died at the age of 48 very young man uh he was two uh or he passed away in 2004 he was born in indian hills colorado um he was a musician singer and songwriter and he was playing until the year he passed it looks like he did write several songs for some country artists, but maybe this was the only or biggest song that he was known for is right here, Just When I Needed You Most. All right, so if there's more from Randy that you guys want me to check out, let me know, but uh, let me know also if this was one that kind of fell off for you that you forgot about and that you enjoy. All right, definitely appreciate that. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the description. Consider becoming a member on my YouTube Patreon. That'd be amazing, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, peace. Before and now, where I'll find comfort, God.